There were no good out of town estate sales today. I'm As I'm talking, I'm watching this person in front of me try to pull out of their parking spot and they keep almost hitting my car. So I'm, I'm waiting for it to all of a sudden go chong. <laughs> We got three of them to hit today. The first one is one that's going to be closing soon, so we're going to go inside and check it out. But all of them, I, don't, I have no idea if we're going to find anything because none of them looked any good, but you never know. Yeah, but this is the yellow room. I wanted to film more of that place in there. Uh, it was the weirdest house. It had three levels, but yet at the same time, all of them were only inches apart from each other. Like, yeah. you would walk up three stairs, and that was an upper level, and that level had another three stairs, but then one would go down one stair, and there'd be a hallway with a room at the end of it. It was a very strange place, and I wanted to film it, but there were people walking around, and I just felt like they'd be like, why, why do you have the camera on me? Wasn't wasn't a great sale. Uh, yeah, a lot of cool records though. And now I need to turn the map on. Cause I don't know where I am. I'm just kind of driving around while I'm talking. So let's see if this one's better. In Monona. So we're right outside of Madison. Still didn't have to travel like the 45 miles that we usually do every weekend. Wait, 45 or would it be more than that? More Hell, than that. more than that. I think we travel like between 78 and 100 each weekend. Mm -hmm. So it was a weirdly laid out place, but nothing inside. We didn't get much. I think we only spent like 25 bucks this weekend, which is unusual. That wasn't as satisfying as it should have been. Normally, it's much more of a high in getting stuff, so we're just going to stop at a straight up antique store. All right, so basically here's the stuff that I ended up getting. First house that we went to had a bunch of records. Mary Poppins, the musical album with Julie Andrews and Dick Van Dyke. Meep. A 78 album collection of different children's stories featuring the great Gildersleeve from Old Time Radio. I didn't realize when I first got it that it had a name scrawled across the top of it, but a Disney haunted house album. What does it say? Chilling, thrilling sounds of the haunted house. Alan Sherman, comedy album. He's the Hello Mudda, Hello Fada guy. This is a Can Can type album. It just seemed cool, so got it. Another one that's like a soundtrack album or possibly play called The Pajama Game. Just thought the illustration was cool. Another Disney album for Cinderella. I don't think I've actually seen this album cover before for the Cinderella album, but there we go. Here's one that I liked. George Burns Sings, which the joke always was is that he was a bad singer. This is during the peace and love era, so he's wearing like beads and giving, doing the peace sign thing, so he's probably singing modern songs like, with a little help from my friends, King of the Road, you, you made me love you, that's not a hippie song. This should be an interesting one to listen to, I've never heard of it before. Then I got this one because it's a strange mixture of, has English and another language on it. And then they had this one room that had a bunch of really old, like, 1960s car magazines. Like, Car and Driver, Road and Track, and they've got, like, these cool old car pictures. So, 50s and 60s of that. Got, like, three or four of those. So, the house that was kind of a bust, I got this. It's basically a recipe tin. They just always seem to do well. They're neat. When I post them, they go instantly. Then, the only other thing we found were, like, some wooden Christmas ornaments of cars. And that was it. That other house it was a super interesting house, but there was nothing there. At the antique store, which normally we don't do because they're already priced to make a profit, but sometimes we come across things that uh, the people I sell to find interesting. Looney Tunes, what is it, pencil case? Pencil bag? Pencil bag, yeah, got that. It's even got a bunch of pencils in it already. And of course, illustrated books, which I'm always looking for. So, got a 
Spanish version of Charlie Brown, a Richard Scarry hardcover cardboard book, a unique find that is a hardcover called Ben and Pal, an old Peter Rabbit teletale book, the Golden Book Encyclopedia, which these always, I think it's just remembering that you had it on your shelf growing up. Some people just really like getting these. I'm always surprised by it because it's like learning. Then also some games. We got Junior Scrabble, Hollywood Squares, an old Mad Magazine board game. And then we picked up a doll, a magic paper doll. So yeah, I think that's everything. Pretty sure. I mean, it was still a nice little haul for... Go, usually we have way more than this, but at least we found some stuff. So that was fun. Good weekend. listen also I just realized that I said see listen look do you hear that anyway so now I'm out here at my studio we have a song we're working on done with the final mix of it I'm getting it ready I got to enter in the ID3 tags and upload it to all the services make a website post to it all that kind of stuff it's like you finish the song and then there's more work to do and then of course I got to promote it and all that so I'm working on that right now while I'm uh, out here, just a little bit of it. So that's what I'm doing now. Hopefully we finish in a little bit. Yeah. 